Most people do not really want freedom because freedom involves responsibility and most people are frightened of responsibility. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. But one thing about human beings puzzles me the most is their conscious effort to be connected with the object of their affection, even if it kills them slowly within. In the small matters, trust the mind. In the large ones, the heart. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. Psychiatry is the art of teaching people how to stand on their own feet while reclining on couches. One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. Civilization began the first time an angry person cast a word instead of a rock. We choose not randomly each other, we meet only those who already exists in our subconscious. If you want your wife to listen to you, then talk to another woman. She will be all ears. Love is a state of temporary psychosis. One must learn to give up momentary, uncertain and destructive pleasure for delayed, restrained but dependable pleasure. Whoever loves becomes humble. Those who love have, so to speak, pawned a part of their narcissism. Words have a magical power. They can either bring the greatest happiness or the deepest despair. A father's death is the most important event, the more heartbreaking and poignant loss in a man's life. Out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. The great question that has never been answered and which I have not yet been able to answer despite my 30 years of research into the feminine soul is what does a woman want? Knowledge is the intellectual manipulation of carefully verified observations. Two hallmarks of a healthy life are the abilities to love and to work. Each requires imagination. We are what we are because we have been what we have been. When a love relationship is at its height, there is no room left for any interest in the environment. A pair of lovers are sufficient to themselves. All family life is organized around the most damaged person in it. History is just new people making old mistakes. I have found little good about human beings. In my experience, most of them are trash. Not to know the past is to be in bondage to it, while to remember, to know, is to be set free. Human beings are funny. They long to be with the person they love but refuse to admit openly. Some are afraid to show even the slightest sign of affection because of fear. Fear that their feelings may not be recognized or even worst, returned. But one thing about human beings puzzles me the most is their conscious effort to be connected with the object of their affection, even if it kills them slowly within. Maturity is the ability to postpone gratification. A man who has been the indisputable favorite of his mother keeps for life the feeling of a conqueror. 
From error to error, one discovers the entire truth. The aim of psychoanalysis is to relieve people of their neurotic unhappiness so that they can be normally unhappy. Dreams are the royal road to the unconscious. Words have a magical power. They can bring either the greatest happiness or deepest despair. They can transfer knowledge from teacher to student. Words enable the orator to sway his audience and dictate its decisions. Words are capable of arousing the strongest emotions and prompting all men's actions. When inspiration does not come to me, I go halfway to meet it. The moment a man questions the meaning and value of life, he is sick, since objectively neither has any existence. By asking this question, one is merely admitting to a store of unsatisfied libido to which something else must have happened, a kind of fermentation leading to sadness and depression. A woman should soften but not weaken a man. Were we fully to understand the reasons for other people's behavior, it would all make sense. When one does not have what one wants, one must want what one has. Religion is a system of wishful illusions together with a disavowal of reality, such as we find nowhere else but in a state of blissful hallucinatory confusion. Religion's eleventh commandment is, Thou shall not question. I became aware of my destiny to belong to the critical minority as opposed to the unquestioning majority. Where they love, they do not desire, and where they desire, they do not love. Children are completely egoistic. They feel their needs intensely and strive ruthlessly to satisfy them. When someone abuses me, I can defend myself, but against praise, I am defenseless. Without love, we fall ill. Look into the depths of your own soul and learn first to know yourself. Then you will understand why this illness was bound to come upon you, and perhaps you will thenceforth avoid falling ill. The mind is like an iceberg. It floats with one-seventh of its bulk above water. The sexual life of adult women is a dark continent for psychology. Poets are masters of us ordinary men in knowledge of the mind because they drink at streams which we have not yet made accessible to science. The paranoid is never entirely mistaken. To be completely honest with oneself is the very best effort a human being can make. The unconscious of one human being can react upon that of another without passing through the conscious. Where does a thought go when it's forgotten? I prefer the company of animals more than the company of humans. Certainly a wild animal is cruel, but to be merciless is the privilege of civilized humans. Time spent with cats is never wasted. There is little that gives children greater pleasure than when a grown-up lets himself down to their level, renounces his oppressive superiority, and plays with them as an equal. It is not attention that the child is seeking, 
but love. That which we can't remember, we will repeat. Flowers are restful to look at. They have neither emotions nor conflicts. When a man is freed of religion, he has a better chance to live a normal and wholesome life. Life, as we find it, is too hard for us. It brings us too many pains, disappointments and impossible tasks. In order to bear it, we cannot dispense with palliative measures. There are perhaps three such measures, powerful deflections which cause us to make light of our misery, substitutive satisfactions which diminish it, and intoxicating substances which make us insensible to it. Not all men are worthy of love. The news that reaches your consciousness is incomplete and often not to be relied on. Turn your eyes inward, look into your own depths, learn first to know yourself. All that matters is love and work. Dogs love their friends and bite their enemies, quite unlike people who are incapable of pure love and always have to mix love and hate. Humor is a means of obtaining pleasure in spite of the distressing effects that interface with it. None believes in his own death. In the unconscious, everyone is convinced of his own immortality. The behavior of a human being in sexual matters is often a prototype for the whole of his other modes of reaction in life. Conservatism, however, is too often a welcome excuse for lazy minds, loath to adapt themselves to fast-changing conditions. Thought-provoking quotes have the power to inspire us. Which quote from the video resonated with you the most? Let me know in the comments below.